What's up, wrestling fans? I got some news to drop right now, but here's the thing. If you guys could do me a favor, if you guys like the content that I provide all week long and everything that I do here, leave a sub, leave a like, but most importantly, leave a super thanks down below, and I'll pin it to the top of the comments with whatever you say, whatever it is. Uh, bring it if you can in the comments and in the feedback down below, and drop that super thanks for me, guys. If you appreciate what I do, um, it w I would appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed last night. Shout out to the three champs, Drew Barr, D. Welsh, Todd Fair. They're awesome. Uh, but... Triple H, the first thing is Triple H allows WWE Star to start streaming again. Hey, man, this is what they all want to do anyway. So Triple H is just giving in to them, man, courtesy of WrestlingInc.com. And, of course, from uh, Danny Wollstenholm. Um, Jesus Christ, get a new last name. But uh, anyway, uh, thank you for this article. Um, <laughs> so now they will be able to uh, stream again. Uh, whether that's uh, you know AJ Styles, Zelina Vega, people like that, all can stream again on Twitch according to Triple H. That's been lifted. So there you go, guys. AJ Styles, hey, I don't want to be champion, man. I just want to play video games with my son on Twitch. Well, hey, now he can do it, man. But according to CM Punk, AJ Styles is a racist. So you know why is he allowed to do anything? Because according to CM Punk, AJ Styles is a racist, right? So I don't know why he's allowed to even stream on Twitch, right? Twitch doesn't allow racists to stream. Somebody tell CM Punk about this so he can tell Twitch. Anyway, Eddie Kingston blasts CM Punk for insulting him. Speaking of CM Punk the other night, um, you know, CM Punk, they're saying, they're reporting he went off script. I mean, I think he playing the whole thing out to call these people out. He called out Adam Page. He called out uh, Eddie Kingston. And the reason why I think he name-dropped all these other people is because, like we said, they're probably going to have the match next week, and it's going to be a disqualification. So they're probably going to be a disqualification next week, and you're going to see Adam Page and Eddie Kingston have to team up against CM Punk and John Moxley until John Moxley and CM Punk have their real match at All Out or whatever it is. So now it's starting to make sense why CM Punk, you know, name dropped random other people and threw people under the bus and stuff like that. It's so they can screw up the match next week because they were name dropped. I mean, to me, that's what's happening. Maybe that's not what's happening, and I'm reading too far into this, and CM Punk accidentally said these names and put heat on other people for some reason, even though he's involved with Moxley, which is a dumb thing to do unless there's a plan like this. So my opinion, we're 100% going to see Eddie Kingston or Adam Page interfere in the match next week uh, that will lead to an all-out match because it just... I don't know. It just that just makes sense to me. Why else? Otherwise, CM Punk really made a boo boo, you know, bringing other people's names into this for no reason. So, but I doubt that CM Punk made a boo boo. So I think it's all, you know, obviously it's not off script either. By the way, then now you know that's a lie in the news reports. It's not off script. He, it was purposely done to plant those seeds. He slighted other people. And here's a follow up story to something that we've been talking about recently. By the way, now's a good time to stick that thumb up my ass. Do you like what I do here? Do you like this content? Do you like what I'm saying? Are you sitting there with your wife, your girlfriend, your friend, or anybody else, and you're getting a chubby down below and they're staring at your crotch region and they're like, what's going on, bro? Why is a tent growing in your pants? And you're like, well, because we're watching Joe Cronin on the Joe Cronin show and I've been subscribed for so long and now I'm getting so long down below that boing, let's have another baby. You're welcome. Uh, so make sure to click that like button and stick thumb my ass. WWE opens up more seating for upcoming Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre to show down. That was a terrible Scottish accent. I'm sorry. This is what I was talking about. Remember at SummerSlam, everybody was like, they're not selling tickets. They, those tickets weren't available. Yeah, they're not available because they haven't sold out the main area yet. They're not going to start selling the hard cam side until they've sold the on cam section. People think that they only were selling the on-cam section and they never would sell the hard cam. No, they will sell the hard cam once the on-cam section is sold. And so the people that just didn't get that through their friggin' heads for whatever reason that I spoke to several times, here you go. So now they're starting to sell stuff on the hard cam side for Cardiff or whatever the hell it's called. Clash at the Castle, I don't know. Roman Reigns, Drew McIntyre. People in Europe are getting thirsty, and so they're buying some seats. They don't come out there often. This is good news for the WWE. It's not that great, but it's still better news than the whole thing's tarped off on that side. Well, no, now they're releasing more seating. That's great news for WWE, right, Then, other than having what happened at SummerSlam. Now, they don't have as many tickets in this place, I don't believe, anyway, so, you know, whatever the case is. But again, following back up on the story that I just talked about a second ago, and by the way, woo, am I long right now? Let me tell you something. I hope you guys are at lunch or at work or we're in front of people that make this makes you uncomfortable. More on CM Punk reportedly going off script and calling out Adam Page on Dynamite. Let's see what this report's about. 
Um, CM Punk's promo on AEW Dynamite reportedly had more intentions than just building to All Out, Meltzer says. Uh, Punk and Page were 100% a shoot, and that the two have had an issue uh, that carries over the course of blah, 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 blah. Punk stated in his promo addressing Page, I don't believe any of this. This is all, no, I, I don't believe there's really an issue. I think CM Punk is doing it so that Page can interfere or something. Unless you, unless you really think there's a real issue. So CM Punk, let me tell you something. If CM Punk derived from his promo on Moxley, his his future opponent coming up, and he took time out of that to randomly go at Adam Page and go at Eddie Kingston to be brought up, then, man, they are they made a big mistake. And I doubt they made a big mistake, you know? Because otherwise, that's a big mistake. And I, I just don't think that that's going to be the case. Thunder Rosa... Uh, is going to have an opponent. Where's Britt Baker, by the way? Is she hurt or something? I feel like I haven't seen Britt Baker in a while. I don't know. I just feel like, where's Britt Baker? I mean, maybe I'm crazy, but I, I someone in the comments is going to be like, Joe, Britt Baker did this last week. Stupid. But I just feel like, I don't know. I'm, I'm missing something with Britt Baker or something. Shawn Michaels has said uh, there are plans to separate WWE NXT and NXT, the European roster. Shawn, Shawn Michaels addresses plans to separate WWE NXT and NXT Europe. Aren't they already separated? I mean, am I crazy? By the way, who cares? I don't think there should be an NXT Europe anymore. They're not big enough anymore to do it. They did get a decent rating the other night, too, uh, by the way. NXT uh, drew about over 700,000 people, which is back to what it used to draw when it was up against NA, uh, AEW, right? They used to trade 600, 700, 800,000 with AEW for... Same thing, six, seven, eight, nine hundred people, nine hundred thousand, and then sometimes uh, AEW would cross over a million. Um, but AEW beating out NXT, but now NXT has hit one of its better numbers in a while of seven hundred thousand. So that's pretty good news for them. Now it's on AEW to to on a on a tougher night. It is a tougher time for AEW, but man, they got to get that rampage number up. AEW has got to get that rampage. I mean, number up. They got to start scissoring people over there at AEW. Do whatever you got to do, man, to get that Rampage number up. We'll see what happens. You guys can follow me on Instagram, facebook.com slash Joe Cronin Show, at Joe Cronin Show on uh, Instagram. Uh, you guys can become a patron on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. I want to shout out to the Snake Man uh, who become, became a $100 patron, another mega supporter, a mega JCS supporter here. Thank you for that. So I want to thank uh, Snarkbait becoming a $25 producer once again, man. Snarkbait, thank you so much, bro. And I want to thank the mega producers. Uh, these are people at um, $50 or more. Uh, I got a shout out, man, to none other than uh, Matt Rossmeyer, Nikki J, the Weed God, a couple of Turkey Club $50 there, and to the two big boys, Sith Negan and Todd Fair at the $100 spots, man. Thank you so much. And with Shell going through a bit of a tough time, man, um, shout out to Shell. We love her. Um, but with her, you know, having to go uh, down all the way, uh, that $100 spot was taken over by Todd Fair, man. So thank you so much to Todd. If you guys want to support the channel, down below, leave a super thanks. I will pin the best one and the biggest one down below. Let me see the rainbow colors fly in the comments section. But if you have ideas for wrestling comments, questions, news that I didn't answer in this video that you really want me to talk about, please put it down below. And I will read the comments like crazy about this. And tonight I potentially will either go live or make a video in response to the comments in this video, guys. I will see you tonight. Thanks for watching. And I will, uh, I'll see you tonight for all that, man. Kenny Omega is back in AEW with the compression shirt on. What do you think about that? What do you think about Vertigo? And what do you think about life? I'll see you guys in the next video. Now here's some other videos popping up that you should check out from me. Keep binge watching my channel so I get more recommendations to you guys and you get my recommendations when I go live and you get the alerts when I go live. Just binge my channel for a little bit and YouTube will tell you you love me.